I came back to South Africa and I kind of had this question around it, like, what does it take to engineer communities of learning, communities that value learning? That was fundamentally sort of the phenomena I was interested in. And could you do this if you could create the right environments? Do all children kind of um, rise to the challenge of self-learning? How do we inculcate that for more, more students? And I started um, working sort of mostly on what was like my side hustle because um, I was still working in schools, but then I had sort of my after school program and summer programs that I ran in South Africa, holiday camps and that kind of thing. Um, and so that was my own business on the side. Um, so it was first still in, you know, one foot in, in the classroom, still one foot out um, and trying to figure out this entrepreneurial journey. And, and just also, you know, I think also, I'm sure you relate to this as a, as a, teacher consuming a lot of content you also start wanting to create it yourself you know you want to you want to make things too or you also feel creative and oh I could do this um, and so you, I started um, working out out of school and then basically I did a master's program at some point I started my master's in inclusive innovation and in education which I looked at what is the um, minimum viable infrastructure for like this question again, like engineering communities of learning and um, how do we help people, young people um, and teachers that maybe don't have technical backgrounds or um, specifically like if we look at where the world's going, we need more STEM skills. How do we help bridge that gap? So that was really a thing I became super interested in. And then somewhere along the line, my master's became my, um, it just became my, my work <laughs> and um, like the, the the thesis became uh, a real world project and we started working with teachers all over um, and it, we transitioned sort of during COVID. My joy was started as like an online coding school and from that we did a lot of project-based learning um, specifically rooted in um, uh, projects, uh, coding projects and through that, we got we were part of the OpenAI beta, um, where we designed this hackathon that we did with thousands of like students all over the world, um, and it was a project where they could build their own um, AI projects um, to do their homework, almost like a chatbot, like ChatGPT. And this was before ChatGPT, and so we had this uh, large set of data, basically, which. Um, give us good understanding in terms of children's first experiences with this technology. How does it change their learning journey? What is the role of projects and um, STEM and how does that change? And then also what, like how that will impact the, the teachers. And so we had this like, like mini microcosm over a year of um, how um, basically AI <laughs> would change the way young people teach and learn and how teachers would facilitate in those environments. And um, and then ChatGPT came out about a year ago, and and so we were sort of had just just before ChatGPT came out, we had sort of started our teacher training programs um, um, to like sort of navigate this changing world. Um, and then the timing could have been better, and the rest is history because I think um, we expected that that change would happen a little bit more gradually. Um, so we thought it was like we had like two years where we could help teachers get up to speed with this change and share our learning. And, and then that obviously happened in months. So for the past year, we've been teaching teachers. So um, how to use AI and then building our platform and tools for them to use AI in the classroom. And it's the platform that I'm really interested in you speaking about because I'm a huge advocate of it. I've We've had conversations, obviously, months before, and I've been using it in my classroom. But maybe not everyone is fully aware of it because it's one of those, I'm going to call it a silent assassin. It's going to sneak up on <laughs> you and it's then going to do the job because it's a fantastic, a fantastic platform. 